Hello, my name is Yusuf Chitalwala and I am an Applications Engineer at Yokogawa Corporation of America for Power Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to wire a three phase three wire circuit to a power analyzer to make your voltage, current and total power measurements. What I have out here is a three phase three wire circuit which is a motor drive. I have my three phase phase voltages coming out, phase A, phase B and phase C voltages. I also have my phase currents coming out, phase A current, phase B current and my phase C current. I have kind of pre-wired my currents to the power analyzer where the phase A positive negative, phase B positive negative and phase C positive negative. You can see that I have wired phase A to watt meter 1, phase B to watt meter 2 and phase B to phase C to watt meter 3. Make sure that you wire get the polarities on your current terminals right because if the polarities are res res reversed you're going to get negative power. All right. So let's go ahead and now make our voltage connections. For the voltage connection I'm going to use the delta connection method. Now in the delta connection method, I'm going to basically use, uh, it's a triangle triangle delta connection. So you have A to C, you have B to C, and A to B. So that's exactly how we're going to wire our phase voltages, okay? So I have my phase voltage A out here, which I'm going to use the connect to the first watt meter. So the first watt meter is going to measure A to C. So that's phase A voltage to phase C voltage, all right? The second watt meter, I'm going to do B to C. So I'm going to take my B voltage, this is my B. I'm going to use uh, another cable to get access to my C. So as you know, my C was here, C. So now I have B to C. So the first is first watt meter is wired A to B, A to C. Second watt meter is wired B to C. And now I need to make my last connection, which is A to B. So let's get access to A using some other jumper cables. So here's my A. So I got my A on my third watt meter, and I need access to my B. So my B is here. And here is my B. So here I have my A to B on the third watt meter. So I have A to C, B to C, and A to B. So now that we've connected our three phase three wire circuit to a power analyzer, let's go ahead and turn the power analyzer on and verify if all our voltages, currents, and power are reading correct. Also, we'll verify if all the power is positive, which tells us that our wiring is correct. So let's go ahead and turn the motor on. All right. And here you can see uh, you have your three phase voltages and you also have your three phase currents. They all look fine. This also tells you what your total power is. Uh, it tells you what your total power factor is. All right. Let's also verify that the individual phase powers are correct. Uh, so that way we can tell that the wiring is correct. Uh, you can see that phase one power is positive, phase two power is also positive, and so is phase three power. That tells you, that's the first thing that tells you that your wiring is correct. Now, all, another way you can verify uh, on the power analyzer if your wiring is correct is you go back to the vector display on this meter, and you should be able to see your delta connection on your voltage, and which is what we see out here. And here are your three phase currents. Uh, so this tells you that basically your wiring is correct and you're, you, you're now ready to make some good power, accurate power measurements.